Yeah, so uh, this is Cal Cat, the Cal Catster, and this is a review of Stephen King's It, Chapter 2. Uh, I saw it uh, two days ago. I've gotten around to recording a video about a review of it until now. I watched the Red Letter Media one, so I'm probably going to be biased. Um, <laughs> I didn't give away much about the first one of my It, Chapter 1 review two years ago. But uh, I won't give away too much about it now, but really... As they pointed out on that other review, there's, uh, yeah, not a whole lot to give away without spoiling, really. I mean, it wouldn't matter if I spoiled another thing. Um, yeah, the, the critics, uh, the critics haven't really liked or hated it. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it, like, 66%, which is, you know, I'd say it's higher than that. I'd say it's, like, 75%. Not quite as good as the first one. Um, the same thing with the miniseries. Uh, it wasn't, uh, yeah, so it was fine. Uh, they did flashbacks to the the children, but mainly the current one takes place when they're adults, 27 years later. Uh, it's 2016 in the sequel. Um, the uh, does make the question that the 50s, the 60s it and the 90s it <laughs> and then the now it and the 80s it where uh, late 80s early 90s it does, does like the one from 89 does the clown just regenerate after the miniseries immediately and go after a new batch of kids and that's connected because that would be interesting so the first one they didn't actually do anything <laughs> anyway uh, yeah they didn't really stop it uh, and it was kind of weak in the miniseries um, yeah their, their, whole, their whole idea is kind of weak but, then again, it's a Stephen King ending, which they made fun of in the movie today. It's a guy that was clearly supposed to be Stephen King, and, and he was like, your endings all are, they all suck. Uh, <laughs> not all Stephen King's endings. His ending of, um, his ending of The Stand was kind of fun. Um, <laughs> his ending of it was kind of fun, a little bit silly, but kind of fun. Um, but yeah, the, um, so, yeah, uh, It Chapter 2. Uh, McAvoy and Chastain and a bunch of people um, are in it as adults. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so McAvoy with hair um, and uh, I'm assuming like a wig. Uh, <laughs> you the hair for the part. Uh, it's um, yeah, uh, some characters were confusing because at times two or three of them have glasses and look kind of similar. So, so it was kind of confusing as to who the, the uh, sexually troubled guy was, juxtaposed to who the other guy was. Uh, it opens with these two uh, gay characters. We're not in the book, but there's a suggestion uh, who, uh, who die. One of them dies, and then the other one uh, commits suicide. Um, I think that's what happened. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of ambiguity and, and uh, odd placement of stuff. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But um but yeah the, the it's uh and then the, the the group is called to uh meet again by Michael. But Michael uh is a character in the story. Mike is a character. Yeah. Uh but in the book it was it was Ben. Yeah, it's a different guy. Yeah they they sort of mixed that change them around a little bit. Not sure why they did that. Um, the old lady is a slightly different character in the book, and the obsessive mother is different in the book. And, of course, the kid orgy is in the book, and not in either movie. Um, but, that's, but yeah, that's just as well, because, ew. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, there were, there were, in the theater, in our audience that was watching it, they were, uh, wondering when the kid orgy was going to happen. It's like, I don't think it's going to happen, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they were even going to imply it. They didn't. Um, what was odd, though, is there was this, like, goofball dude after the show in the, in the restroom. Follows me over there. He's, like, doing a Mike Myers thing behind me. I don't know what the hell he was doing. <laughs> and he got really, really close. He was, was like, dude, what are you doing back there? I'm trying to be scary? Because it ain't, it ain't working. <laughs> Just saw a movie about a killer clown. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, it's, 
um, Killer Clown from Outer Space. Literally, that's probably where they got Killer Clowns from Outer Space from. That's after after Stephen King's book, It. It actually, um, the story of the It's was, uh, it's a different character than, uh, it was rock where it was a horror movie story that I thought of, which was ripping off Stephen King in the later version that came out when, when this book came out in 86. But the earlier version of it was not ripping off the Stephen King book. Yeah, which is why you will never see Demons of Rockburn, because it's a ripoff of it. Uh, yeah. Uh, it became something called Stranger Things. Uh, yeah. So we'll have to uh, review that later on. Yeah, so I have to binge watch it. So yeah, probably the last person on Earth that hasn't binge watched uh, Stranger Things. Oh yes. It didn't really, but it's a lot like it. Um, but but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, shoot, um, yeah, the, the, uh, there was some cool scares, mostly jump scares. I pointed on Red Letter Media, they were not, uh, it wasn't so much horror as scary, it wasn't so much atmospheric as, as beats for a, a typical, like, your typical uh, horror slasher movie slash, like, ensemble cast. Yeah, thing, and you get a good this beat, this beat, this beat. I liked how they dispatched the bad guy uh, uh, who was in the mental institution uh, because, because unlike Michael Myers from uh, another Michael from, uh, <laughs> from uh, Halloween, the remake, uh, if he was actually a psychopath guy, he's probably not thinking. So, he, like, when you walk into a situation where Three other grown adults could totally beat the shit out of him. Stop it. Because, <laughs> yeah, because he's not supernatural. He's not actually the it creature. He's uh, the guy. So, that works. Um, yeah, so... So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Also, there was... Uh, there was longer, more more stuff in the book and the miniseries about that guy. The bully. Uh, yeah, so, uh, anyway, um, uh, the Chinese food scene was cool, where they stuck out all Cronenbergian and David Lynch, little Lovecraft thrown in there, because Kevin was a fan of all those people. Um, yeah, so Lynch and Cronenberg were fans of Lovecraft, and they were all doing, so he had, like, critters coming out of the Chinese food, and there was, there was a funny scene where somebody in the theater said, oh, that happened to me just last week in the Chinese restaurant. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> the audience was like, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> At least the audience was enjoying it. Also, also there was a scene where where a guy gets barfed on by this by this uh, ghoul, barfs on him, and uh, he's down in a basement, and there's like, a torture room down there, and his mother's chained up. He's got a grass cord. <laughs> and when he, gets, and he's, uh, he doesn't like germs, and he gets barfed on. And uh, they started playing "They Call Me Angel," and uh, the uh, the um, uh, the Red Letter Media guys didn't like this scene. They talked about it for a full ten minutes, but I won't. Um, just, I just say it was supposed to be a funny scene, uh, just to be just to be weird. Um, that the that the creature, yeah, it was an odd choice, but I think they did it on purpose. The bike scene was also on purpose, where he gets the bike and he's like, I want this fucking bike. Oh, McAvoy chewing scene. I think McAvoy thought that he was in another uh, M. Night Shyamalan movie, and he was like, didn't work. he was almost doing his character from that, and he was like, oh, wait, I'm not that guy. Oops. <laughs> I'm not the guy from Split. Yeah, not playing him anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, Chastain did a good job as the girl. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there was another scene with a bath of blood. Blood, blood bath. Somebody commented on that, too. It wasn't me. Another blood bath. Oh. <laughs> and then there was a burial. A guy gets buried. The blood bath happens. So she gets covered in blood again. Like, kind of like in Carrie. They're both going back to Carrie. Somebody got covered. Carrie got covered in blood. That one. Fake blood. Pig blood, whatever. Oh, no. The couple of scenes where the clown was being scary, like the one with the under the bleachers and the girl with the big birthmark gets uh, killed. That was the, the, that's a yeah. She wasn't important, so I'll give that away. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was creepy. There was a giant, there was a cow cat scene. There was a giant robot Paul Bunyan chasing the hero, the king kind of guy. It's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was a cow cat moment. Um, yeah, so, of course, there's a giant robot chasing the hero. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, sure. Stephen King, Chapter 2. I suppose you put it together as a six, as a four hour, four and a half hour miniseries, five hour miniseries. It'd probably be like, oh well, okay, yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's a modern horror movie, so it's got a lot of jump scares, but they they work. I think more so than the critics are getting get credit for. I think it works on a, on a current level. Uh, the use of cell phones to go about doing their thing is. Uh, throws it off, but oh well. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Stephen King's It, Chapter Two. Um, yeah. Um, so there's my review, I guess. Um, yeah, go out and see it. Uh, yeah, they come back as adults. The dairy. Dairy seems to be the apex of the D R R Y. Is the apex of uh, of all evil in the galaxy thing in the, the universe. And, uh, it, the clown, is apparently an alien from millions of years ago. How they know this, they don't say. And they also don't say how the Native Americans fought it, but that's part of the plot. So I guess, yeah, they throw in this, like, like peyote-like substance. They, he, he, the, the Michael guy drugs one of the guys into saying, Maga boy, he drugs Maga boy. Uh, and then he doesn't do it to the other ones, so they wouldn't know. Um, they're hanging out in the library. They were... Yeah, there were some odd choices of where they were hiding, but it, and some of them would go out into town, and there was hardly anyone there. But yeah, um, other than that, so yeah, it was okay. Yeah, go out and see it. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, the, the, it was a beat by beat movie. It, it had the clown spider was fucked up. The uh, the scary and not scary doors was essentially almost the same gag as the. Uh, as the uh, the door with the bad guys and the door without the bad guys in Hobbs and Shaw, uh, which I don't think I reviewed, um, but they did the same joke. It was like, okay, you have one, two joy doors to go through. One scary one isn't. Clones fucking with us. Uh. And one of the doors has a Pomeranian dog, and the other had like a critter. And the and the Pomeranian dog turns out to be the scary one because it turns into a critter. Yeah, I saw that one coming. That was gonna. Anyway, um, oh, the, but yeah, so the, yeah, the uh, building thing is different in the book. In the book, uh, they build a dam to, to, so they can go swimming in that gross, acrid lake, and they get in trouble. But in the, in the movie, they didn't, in the movie version, they didn't do that. They just built a fort under the ground, um, yeah, which is in it too, the clubhouse. But yeah, it in it, <laughs> yeah. Um, it is a clown, a clown, a, a shapeshifter alien, actually, some kind. Millions of years old. So it essentially is War of the Worlds, but in one town. Yeah, which was in one town originally. So yeah, it's a revenge fantasy. It's a teen grow up fantasy. Uh, it's uh, the idea that the hero heroes grow up. And then manage to defeat the bad guy by making him feel a certain way. That makes him defeat him. I'm sure. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Stephen King, uh, yeah. I, I think with some of his early works in the 80s were probably in... Some of them were written with uh, the, the help of copious amounts of alcohol and drugs. But he later straightened out. So, so. yeah. I'm not sure if his writing improved all that much. I mean, some of his later stuff is good, but, yeah. Um, yeah, his, his weird stuff was obviously drug-fueled. I mean, come on. <laughs> A clown alien thing. Although they did do something creative with the spider alien. It is in there. Although you'll have to see it, what they do with the spider. Anyway, so that's the review.